Hey guys! So it is another book talk! Oh, still have a cold. As you see, the, the, the scene has changed. Usually it's my closet. Well, that's because today I'm using my laptop. So you guys get to check out my bookshelf back there. And my TV over there. My family has those two over there. So, yeah. So today I will be reviewing the book, Fallen, by Lauren King. This book was pretty cool. If I had to give it a rate, I would probably give it around, let me think here. It's been a long time since I've read this book. I read it during the summer, and it's still fresh in my memory. <laughs> so I probably have to give it around a 7 out of 10. Because I love the story. It has fallen angels, it has demons. It has religious beliefs, and most importantly, it has love. So basically, this girl got her name. <laughs> Forgot her name. Give me a minute. <coughs> Luce. Luce. Her real name is Lucinda, but she calls herself Luce Price because that's her last name, Price. So. She thinks there's something really familiar about this guy named Daniel Gregory. And it turns out, when they kiss, she's supposed to vanish. And then after another 16 years, she comes back to Daniel. Because every year she is baptized. And uh, that makes her go over and over. This is the storyline. You can never fall in love, basically. You can never kiss this one girl that you love. Well, for Daniel, because he's a fallen angel, and he fell in love with a mortal, which made him fall from heaven, descend from heaven. And because he fell in love with a mortal, descend from heaven, and every time they kiss, she goes goes away. But this time, she was not baptized. So she goes, she goes to him. No matter what he does, she always finds her way to him. Hey. And, uh, it's pretty awesome. I love this story. So no matter what she does, what he does, she always finds his way to him. And they always end up falling in love. But this year, this time, he has to take special care of her. Because if she's gone, she's never coming back. Which is why I keep on repeating this question for me. Why don't you just freaking baptize her now? But then I realized it was too late. So yeah. <laughs> and this is a really great series. I honestly love the series. So the first book is Fallen. The second book. I'll give you a list here. I have the second book. The second book is Torment. The third book is Passion. Let me get the second book out here. It's in my book bag. It won't open. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> so this is the second book. I know the second book, obviously. And then the next one is Passion. And then I think the next one after Passion is Rapture or something. But it is a really great book series. I love the storylines. It's pretty cool how he has to take so, so much care of her. And these outcasts, people who are out to kill her, kill Luce. They have to kill it. Daniel does not like killing because he's a fallen angel. But Cam, the boy who's almost dated because she liked him, was a demon who was out to get her, to murder her. So Daniel was always making sure that she never liked him, that nothing ever happened. 
but it was always a little weird because Kale was always trying to get to crap. So, I am looking what time it is because I have nothing to say, so I might actually review another book because I always want these to be 11 minutes. So this is my second one. Still not a lot planned out. So, uh, I think I have another book that I would like to review. Give me a I have to get it off my bookshelf. <laughs> People who know me saw this coming, but I will be reviewing the Hunger Games. There's also a nice view of something. is a pretty awesome book. We all have to admit that it was pretty awesome. So, yeah. I honestly love how she thought about this. I forgot how, but she was watching like this gladiator show and it came to her mind. It was pretty cool. So, if you guys haven't read The Hunger Games or seen the movie, what have you been doing in your spare time? <laughs> so, this book is about 12, 24 tributes people who go out in an arena to fight to the death. And it's pretty messed up because there's two kids from each district. Uh, it's all the United States. It's split up into 12, 12 districts. It's pretty cool. This book is really amazing. I can't give you any spoilers because I've read the whole series. So if I start talking, I'm going to give you a lot about the whole trilogy. And you don't want that. But I don't. So, this first book that I was pet. I am obviously reading it. Really because it's so amazing. So, uh, in the ruins of a place once known as North America lies the nation of Panem, a shiny capital surrounded by 12 outlying districts. Alright, let me just say this right now. There were 13 districts. They killed one off. And to represent, to tell about all this, they sent two. Two kids, just two kids, 12 through 18, to fight to an arena. And if they die, they aren't even sorry. This is for entertainment. It's messed up. This book is really amazing. I love the storyline. And in the movie, I'm sorry, but when they kept the gale, and he's just looking down at me after he and cat was kiss, I'm just like, the first thing that comes to my head is, Beat that girl, you suck! I'm a big Josh Hutcherson. He could be. So, I'm just gonna go before I get a little too loud. So, bye! And, uh, my own rating on Hunger Games 1000 out of 10. What? So, Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. And, wait, the first one. Fallen by Lauren Kate. Go check out these books. Post if you guys have already read the Hunger Games, but if you haven't, go check it out. Go check out the Fallen first book, Fallen, and then read on until you reach the end. Well, basically, until she had to keep up all of it. So, bye bye. See you next Monday.